I remember growing up, he'd come around every now and then, drop off some shoes, buy his pizza. I didn't need shoes, man. I didn't need any shoes. I didn't need any pizza. I need a dad. Matt James breaks down in tears after confronting his dad about being absent during his childhood. I guard myself. When tough conversations have come up, I ran from them. And there's still a lot of fear about what a long-term commitment looks like based on what I've seen in my family in the past. And that's not healthy. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to the woman that I'm pursuing. That's not something I want to carry with me. On Monday's episode of The Bachelor, ahead of his fantasy suite dates with Michelle, Bree, and Rachel, Matt had an emotional conversation with his dad, Manny, who wasn't around for parts of Matt's childhood. Harboring that negativity in my life hasn't progressed any of my relationships. It's hindered my growth. And for me to move forward, I need to address those demons in my life. And hopefully today is the first step in doing that. The convo kicked off with Manny telling Matt he wanted to celebrate his journey, but Matt quickly revealed the real reason he asked his dad to come. I want to have a family, and I want to be a dad, I want to be a father. What that means to me is showing up, having tough conversations, being there. When I needed you, if you weren't there to have those conversations, you started other families. That affected me. And I need to know where your head was at so that I don't make those same mistakes. Manny responded saying he didn't want Matt to make the same mistake before sharing that his own dad was killed when he was five. So he too didn't experience having a dad. And Matt's mom, Patty, left with the kids. For good reason. Who wants to be with someone who's not gonna be faithful to him? I thank God that she had the courage to stand up for herself and do something because of the situation you put her in. Matt explained that growing up without him hardened his heart, adding that he doesn't want that feeling to rear its head down the road in his new relationship. I agree with you, son. I'll try, Matt. I'll try. I'm sorry I hurt you, son. Whatever I can do to make it better, I'll work on it. Because I want you to be happy, too, for the rest of your life. And I want you to have a relationship that's healthy and not like what I went through. And Matt said he wants his dad to be a part of any relationship he's in going forward. You're my dad. And as much as I missed out on our relationship, there's still a lot of life for both of us to live. And I forgive you. And while Matt said this was a good first step in his relationship with his dad, former Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay said she felt so disturbed after watching the father-son conversation on TV. I felt it in my soul and I had to speak out about it because I am so disturbed at what I just watched take place on the Bachelor stage at the conversation between Matt and his father. The TV personality opened up on the Bachelor Party podcast and said that the scene lacked context about who both Matt and his dad are. What's the one thing we know about his dad? That he wasn't around. That he wasn't around. That's Correct. it. That's Correct. all we know. Which, if you know anything about stereotypes that are assigned to particular races, here, the black race, um, you know that absentee fathers is a stereotype. Right. And Matt can't get to the next level until he has this conversation. That's how this has been presented to us. And she went on to question who approved the conversation, making it into the episode. If the Bachelor franchise has shown us anything, it's that they don't know how to protect people of color. They only know how to exploit them. They only know how to mishandle situations when they come to race. That is what they've shown us time and time again. This should have never been aired for America to see. As for Matt, shortly before the conversation aired on TV, he took to Twitter to add some context and perspective. Quote, too often we see dangerous stereotypes and negative depictions of black fathers in media, and they have consequences when presented without context. Matt added that he hopes people watch with nuance, care, and also an understanding that there are real systemic issues at play. I'm so proud of myself for being vulnerable, and I'm so proud of my mother. I wouldn't be who I am without my dad. That's a fact.